I just want to tell you, I'm not going to tell you which one, but some of these cars you'll never see again and have never seen before. And I was, I had the pleasure of, of having the chief in my car and he said, what's that car? I said, that's a Lancia P0. He said, a what? He said, how many are there? I said, one. <laughs> the only one in the world, Philip Serafin. He, and I hope Big Ole is here too. He brought a couple of amazing cars. But that's what happens. You get the people of, of LA and Southern California together to celebrate the automobile, and that's what we do best. And I want to now invite the city council, Robert Wunderlich, our mayor. And, and, so, and, and, and we have Lester Friedman, our past mayor, who guided us through 2020. Where's Lester? And then the cheerleader for all of Beverly Hills, Lily Bossy. Woo! And we're talking bold. We're talking somebody that really sees how important bringing people together are and to have a good time. And by the way, Lily is a car person. And I said earlier, there's not a car on this street right now that's as fast as what she drives, okay? And she knows the chief. So, so we're going to present two checks from the generosity of O'Gara. Is Tom O'Gara here? He drove that speed tail. Tom and Geary's and Hager, they all chipped in and Auto Vault. If you need your car detailed or stored, I don't know if Scott is here, but we have an amazing group of people right here in Beverly Hills that are so generous. And so we have some checks to present. And I don't know if somebody wants to say a word. Uh, Mayor Wunderland. So, what a wonderful event this is to celebrate Father's Day, to celebrate this beautiful, this fantastic car rally. Uh, thank you to Bruce. Thank you to everybody else who made this possible. And it really is just a great way for us to come back from the pandemic, to be able to be out here together, and to be able to uh, participate in our community activities again. So all of us, we're all glad to be here on behalf of all of City Council. Yeah, thank you. So when we finished the parade, Lily, come, she came to me and said, Bruce, we got to do this every year, plus the car show. There's only one group that could make that happen, and that's the city council. But it, it was fantastic. Driving up to the Beverly Hills Hotel, that beautiful... Well, yeah, that's right, Take the Hello, hello. Jay. Oh, yes, hey. No, this is great, you know. Very, Beverly Hills. Just what I, I have seen billionaires reach out to help millionaires in this town. And that's something when they help to help someone less fortunate. <laughs> so many people here, many people only have one or two summer homes. So a lot of times I've seen billionaires reach out and of course take the tax deduction and help millionaires. And that, that, that's what this city's all about, isn't it? Of course, of course. Of course, helping the less fortunate. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Yes, there you go. John Rivetti, the police chief. Where's the police chief? Where's Tom Rivetti? Thank you. We have the best police, I, all kidding is, you know something? If, if you live here, and I've been a resident for 35 years, I left the battery charger on, it was sparking. My wife called me, she goes, the spark's coming from the garage. She calls me, I said, call a fire. While she was on the phone with me, they got there in less than three minutes. Uh, you know, the, living in Beverly Hills is expensive, but we have the best fire, the best fleet. It's really amazing how quickly they respond, because you know, if, 
a guy at the end of my street lives in L.A. I, I think he's still lying on the ground with a knife on his back, but it's the cops are Okay. But these guys are here, and two, it, it's the quickest response. It's the best response. It, it's the, the it, it's the top of the line police. It really is the best, and the fire department too. You know, everybody bitches about the fire department until my house gets like, hey, well, please get it right away. And these guys just do an, an, an amazing, amazing job. So thank you, thank you for all you do, you guys. It's it, it's really, you know, they they take so much crap, these guys. You know, and it, a lot of us just stay silent. How about a nice round of applause? Just a nice round of applause. For police and fire. Thanks, you guys. It's really good. All that political crap aside, thanks for the help. And, and you know, and people have heart attacks and all the stuff you do. You gotta be. I mean, you gotta be doctors. You gotta be social workers. You gotta be policemen. You gotta. I mean, it's not like the old days. You know, if you hit them on the head with a nice stick. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Now you gotta you gotta give them therapy. You gotta do the whole bit. So thanks for all you do, you guys. Thanks again. All right, nice round of applause. And thank you, Jay. I gotta tell you, I shared a few events in this town and the first check comes from Jay Leno and he's a and he's he's performed for us gratis and there's no bigger supporter of police and fire in the city of Beverly Hills than Jay Leno and thank you very much for participating. And please remember that when I'm speeding through town. Please remember there's no bigger supporter. Please, please. When you see me on Mulholland going 100 miles an hour, please just remember. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest here ladies and gentlemen. 140 guys, everybody right here. This camera, everybody, Bruce. What kind of phone is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more time, here we go. Thank you. All right, everybody, have a great day. Happy, happy Father's Day. None of us would be here without our dads, right? And moms. And try and become a Father's Day if you get the chance, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and please stay and enjoy the cars and the beautiful sunshine and Father's Day until noon today. We'll be here till noon. Thank you so much for coming. What's going on, Patriots? We're back at it at the channel at Be Like Water Media. This is your boy, Ryan. And we have new merch in the store. It's at Be Like Water uh, Teesprings store. We have No Bourgeois, No Democracy. This is a famous political quote by Barrington Moore Jr. No Bourgeois, No Democracy, stating how the importance of the middle class is to society 
and how it stabilizes the democracy. But unfortunately, right now, the middle class is getting destroyed by corporations and our own democracy. Uh, people just forget how important the middle class is. And I just wanted to show this uh, by this new uh, merch line. As you know, there's a, a lot of protesting around America right now. And I just wanted to give you something to rock when you're out there protesting, holding the line, showing um, the big government, you know, we're not going to be pushed around. We need the middle class. We need to fight for our rights because, you know, we have the power to change uh, when the laws do not favor us. But uh, also we have face masks here. I know you guys aren't into face masks, but we have a cute face mask. But check out the store. We got sweaters, uh, t-shirts, men and women, uh, no bourgeois. But I, you know, I, it's really dope. Uh, check out the store. Be like Water Media here. And once again, thank you so much for the support. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe all the videos. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.